just from the start, it seemed something was off. Did you get a feel for that's why it was so hard to get kind of footing and into the game the normal way, the usual way? Yeah, it, it looked like the moment was too big for a lot of players out there. Mm. So it looked like deer in headlights a little bit. Uh, either look soft or scared, mm. one or the other. And that's two, poor, two bad things for a lot of our guys to have and uh, didn't rise up to the moment like I thought we would. I know it happened in the fourth quarter, but did and Phil want them in? No. As bad as it kind of started in the first half, you're only down to six, and then they hit you with that run. Did it kind of feel like you almost let go of the rope there? Yeah, I mean, they had just, like I said, being out physical and them just uh, bullying us for offensive rebounds um, or non communication and just layup drill. And so, yeah, it, you know, it's in striking range a few times. And um, for as hot as they shot in the first quarter specifically and first half, and to have it within six or in the 10 range, you know, felt like we were in a decent shape. And then, uh, yeah, poor uh, recognition time and shot clock. You know, we should get the last shot there. And then they take it down and get offensive rebound put back. But kind of what kind of impact did Jabari have, particularly in that second quarter? I mean, he made some shots, if that's what you're referring to. But he got bullied like the rest of our guys on the other end. Uh, Coach, during these past three games, the Warriors, Dallas, and Minnesota, like each game has been a different issue, I guess, defensively. Is there a common theme that you can talk to your guys about in terms of how to, how to correct some of those mistakes? Yeah, I mean, you have to uh, up your level against higher quality, high IQ teams. And, you know, lack of communication has been one thing, but when you see that many slips to the basket and uh, two, two men on one ball, um, it's like communication or lack of recognition of who you're guarding uh, too many times. Uh, shift guys, help guys, we could have made plays off of and were hugged up and watching Curry or Thompson get open shots or one of their Jackson Davis roll down the lane. So um, just lack of awareness there. Um, and the good teams are going to make you pay. You've talked about the benefits of being in meaningful, meaningful games late. Do teams also have to go through nights like this uh, the kind of the growing pains, like they say about losing in the playoffs before you're ready to win. Do you have to go through something like this? I mean, I think it'll, it'll be beneficial to kind of look back on that and see uh, how we didn't uh, rise to the occasion. Um, so you would say yes, uh, two teams were playing for something, and um, you know, one came out more focused, more aware of the situation, and, and it felt like we didn't. So uh, you know, that'll sting, but got a chance to do it again tomorrow against another high-quality team.